very good morning to all welcome to the class again so we were doing the play a doll's house by henry kipson and in earlier classes we talked about uh we had an introduction to the play so it is a three act play and it is a problem play ha uh, so let's begin with act first so what we see the protagonist of the play nora enters her home along with a number of gifts as it is christmas eve so the play opens at a very happy note when it is a christmas eve and nora uh, is very happy she had a grand shopping for the christmas evening and her husband who is reading books chides nora for spending lavishly on these things as and he also tells her that last year also they were out of money because she spent too much on christmas eve so so uh, we are shown here that nora is a happy wife a happy woman who is spending a lot of money on christmas eve and she is happy buying gifts for the for her family and however as helmer is about to get a promotion nora doesn't find anything wrong with spending money so nora uh, says that as helmer is going to be the manager he is getting the promotion it doesn't wrong to spend money on christmas eve then the maid comes and announces that mrs linde so we have we are introduced with uh, uh, the other two characters mrs linde the minor characters mrs linde a widow who is a widow who is an old school friend of nora and we are also introduced with dr rank who is a rich family friend of helma and who is in secret who is secretly in love with nora so we have introduced with nora helma and uh, mrs linde nora's friend and dr rank helma's friend so they both have come and while helma goes away Nora attends Mrs. Linde and both ladies start telling about their lives to each other. So, the two friends, Nora, the two old school friends, Nora and Mrs. Linde, are having a conversation about their lives to each other on a Christmas Eve. Then Mrs. Linde tells Nora that her husband died without leaving fortune of children for her. So she is all alone, without. She is a widow, a, a very sad and poor widow and she further tells nora that her mother got ill and she had to take care of her brothers as well so she had to take over lots of responsibilities at an early age and that's why she tells nora that this is why she appears to be older than nora who seems to be quite young and innocent so nora looks quite innocent and very young because she is a happy married woman as it is shown in the first act of the play then nora tells about her life she says that her life was equally difficult and she shares a secret the biggest secret of her life with uh, mrs linde and she says that since one last year they had a hard time as her husband got ill and she had to take him to italy for his recovery the expenses of treatment were quite high and she had to borrow money from crockstead crockstead who is crockstead crockstead is the uh, antagonist here crockstead is the uh, the colleague of helma who works at bank so nora had to to meet the expenses of uh, the treatment of her husband she had to buy uh, some money borrow some money from crockstead and she also forges her father's signatures without telling him and even her husband so she forges her father's signatures uh, as a security with and she doesn't tell it to crockstead and to her husband so this secret she reveals to her husband her close school friend mrs linde and she also tells her that since then she is secretly saving to pay off her debt so 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 this is how see we can see that she is not she does not spend lavishly or she is an extravagant but she saves money to pay off that debt that she took for her husband so she secretly saves money for that debt she also works at night to pay off the debt which she took from crockstead and helma 
became a bank manager and thus their economic economic conditions got better linda tells nora that she came in search of a job so now nora says that she also had a very difficult time uh, since the since the last year and uh, now she is uh, stable their economic condition is stable as helmer is getting a promotion and linda mrs linde tells nora that she came in search of a job so she needs a job and she asks nora if her husband can provide a job to her at her at his bank so nora shows to help her and crockstead who is an employee at trovels bank at helmer's bank appears and goes straight to helmer so crockstead so now the uh, the turning point in nora's life is about to come as crockstead from whom she borrowed the money and fro- forged her uh, her father's signatures ha- has come to meet helma so his appearance crockstead's appearance makes nora very uneasy and a little later helma comes out uh, when nora tells him about mrs linde <clears throat> and uh and he at once agrees to give her a job at his bank so uh, helma meets crockstead and when nora uh, requests her to provide a job to linde helmer agrees and he gives her a job at his bank and all leave and nora remains alone okay so now we have seen that we are introduced with the protagonist of the play nora who is a happily married wife but she is managing a household uh, with the burden of paying off the debt that she took for her husband and we are also introduced with the widow mrs linde who is in search of a job and nora and her husband provides her with a job at bank and we have also uh, seen dr rank who is a good friend of uh, helma and crockstead who is um, an employee at employee at helma's bank and from whom nora took the debt borrowed the money so nora when she sees crockstead she is in dilemma that how why he has come to meet her husband and because she is afraid of the whole secret the whole thing that might come out if crockstead comes to know about the forgery and if he reveals the whole secret to her husband crock uh, helma okay so now for today please go through the first act again uh, thank you